What was that? That's Ditto, the newest technology in the sewing industry. So what's so cool about Ditto? Well, it lets you create your own size profile and then you select the garment you want to create and it customizes the pattern to your measurements. That's right, it's finally easy for you to create custom clothes at home by yourself. The thing I love about these size profiles is that you take the measurements once. So let's say you're at a family gathering or you're hanging out with your friends. You can totally take their measurements and then you can make custom clothes for everyone you know. Once you have that size profile, your possibilities for sewing are endless. Speaking of size profiles, today we're going to create a shirt for me and we're going to create a shirt for George. So today we're going to be creating two different shirts with two different size profiles. I'm going to be cutting out and creating the Ophelia shirt and I'm going to cut out and create the Keith shirt for George. So the first thing we need to do to create these shirts is set up our size profiles and select the patterns. So you're going to want to go to dittopatterns.com. Make sure you have an account, make sure you're all logged in. And then let's go ahead and find the styles that we're going to create. So we're going to go to my pattern library and I'm going to select the Ophelia t-shirt that I put in there. And then when I select the Ophelia shirt, you're going to see that right here it says size customization. So we're going to click on size customization. And since I have already created my size profile, all I need to do is select it from the top. So I've selected the size profile that I created for Anastasia Spring 23. And now you can see all of the measurements here in the size profile. And we're going to go ahead and hit next at the bottom of the screen. And it's going to ask you to select the fabric type. So you can choose from medium stretch, low stretch, high stretch. So my shirt has a medium stretch. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And this is going to alter the size of the pattern to the amount of stretch in your fabric. So cool, right? You can also select your fit type. And I'm going to select fitted. So you can also do super fitted, semi fitted. So I'm just going to do fitted. You can also select how much ease is in your pattern. Super cool. So if you want a lot of room in it, you can add it. If you want it really tight, you can make it that way as well. So where it says custom ease, you can go ahead and put how many extra inches of ease you want. You might be wondering what is ease? Well, ease is extra movement, extra fabric. So if something was skin tight to your body, it would have zero ease. And if something was hanging loosely away from your body, it could have a few inches of ease. So the amount of fabric that pulls away from your body is the amount of ease in a garment. So if you don't know how much to ease to put in, go ahead, put on your favorite t-shirt, pull it out away from your body and see how much ease is in there. And you can do that the same thing with the sleeves and your neck and all the other measurements here that it's recommending you to check your ease on. So for me, I'm going to leave it at the preset ease amount. So, you know, that's the easiest thing to do, but you can always change it. Go ahead and hit save. And now we have got our custom profile saved to the garment that we're going to project and cut out. So now what we're going to do is set up a size profile for George. Okay, George, let's take these measurements. So we are going to select the Keith shirt. And when we select the Keith shirt, we're going to have the option for size customization. So I'm going to click size customization. And since we don't have a profile started yet for him where it says model name, I'm going to go ahead and put his name. So now I can go through the measurement chart and measure him and put in his measurements. And if you don't know exactly where to measure, it has this really great feature. You just go ahead, click the question mark, and it's going to show you exactly where to measure and how to measure. And this is so useful, especially if you're a beginner sewer or you always have trouble with taking measurements. This is going to eliminate that issue for you. So now let's start taking all of those measurements. Now we have the size profile all filled out. Now that we have all of those measurements, it's time to hit next. So you are done with the tape measure. Get it out of here or go measure all your friends. And now what we want to do is select our fabric type again. We're going to do the medium stretch knit. We're going to do fitted and then we're going to leave the ease at the preset ease. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. Now that George's size profile is all set, it's time to open up the Ditto app. And you can do this on your smartphone or a tablet. 
So now I'm gonna open the Ditto app on my phone. I'm going to go to my patterns and I'm going to select the Ophelia top because I'm going to be cutting out my top first. So the Ophelia top and the Keith top, they're two totally different patterns with two totally different size profiles. So we wanna do them individually. So I'm going to select the Ophelia shirt and then I'm going to select workspace. So when you open up the Ophelia top, you're going to see your workspace and your workspace is going to have your pattern pieces over at the right hand side and you're going to go ahead and select them touch it it's like a long hold and then you're just going to drag it over to the workspace and you can move this pattern around in your workspace wherever you would like so we're going to be cutting these out one at a time i think so i don't think they're all going to fit on the workspace right now so I want this one on fold. It says right there, cut on fold. So I'm gonna pull it all the way over to the edge. So you can also select more than one pattern piece for the space. We already have the back on there. Let's long hold the front and drag that over. So you can move it around. And if you can't put it in a certain spot, it'll let you know. It'll only let you put it in this dashed box here. So let's say we want to put it right here. Um, but let's say you want to get rid of it. You don't want it there. It's highlighted in red. Go ahead and hit the clear icon and it disappears. That's how you get it off of your workspace. So let's say we want to put the sleeve with this one. We can go ahead and put the sleeve over here. You can also move the sleeve around so you can mirror it. So you can go ahead and select the buttons over here. So mirror V, mirror H, and you'll see it moving. Um, so you can kind of change the placement of the patterns to make sure you're getting the most efficient use out of your fabric. So we're going to place these here. I'm going to clear that one. I'm going to put back that front pattern piece though. And now we are going to send it to the projector. This is the coolest part where it pops up on your fabric. I just love it. It's magical. Now we're gonna hit send to projector and the magic is going to happen. And there it is. There is our Ophelia shirt pattern. Isn't this cool? We didn't have to cut out any paper pattern. Our pattern is right here on our fabric. Another really cool thing about a projected pattern is that if you have a printed fabric, you can move the fabric around so that way you can position your print exactly where you want it. Let's say I want this cactus all the way up at my neck. So I'm just gonna keep pulling it so that way this cactus ends up at the top of my neck. So basically you can see through your pattern. How cool is that? And all the markings are on your pattern, just like they would be on a paper pattern. So you have your notches, you have your grain lines, you have your balance lines, it's telling you to cut it on fold. So after you have it positioned right where you would like it, go ahead and take your weights and weight down your fabric so that way it does not move while you're cutting it out. And then grab your rotary cutter and cut it out. So now we're ready to cut out all the pieces for my Ophelia shirt. Look at how quick and easy that was to cut out. So cool. Now we're gonna cut out two more pieces and then I'll be done cutting out my shirt. Another cool feature is that you can easily move your pattern without moving your fabric. So you move it on the screen in your app, hit send to projector again, and then it just moves on your fabric. Look at that, it moved just like that. So let's put it back up at the top again, hit send to projector. Give it a second and then it's going to pop back up. Look at that. So it's real easy to move your patterns around on your workspace and be able to get it right where you want it on your fabric. And now we're done cutting out our Ophelia shirt. Now I've got my entire shirt cut out just like that. It was so easy. Now it's time to cut out Georgia's shirt. Hey, George, you want to cut out your shirt? Yeah, that looks like fun. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for George's shirt. We are going to project it onto the fabric and cut it out. And again, he's going to be cutting out the Keith shirt. Different shirt, different size profile, but still just as easy. Now George is going to cut out his shirt. It's that easy. Everyone can take a turn cutting out their own shirt. It was so easy to cut out and not having that paper pattern to cut out was awesome. And when I'm ready to sew another one, all I need to do is project and cut. 
So now that all of our pattern pieces are cut out of fabric, it's time to sew, sew, sew. The first shirt I'm going to sew together is going to be my Ophelia shirt. So I'm going to serge together the shoulders first. And if you don't have a serger, totally okay. You can use your zigzag stitch or an overcast stitch to sew together the knit fabric. So after you have your shoulders serged together, then you want to sew the top of the sleeve into the armhole. And then after you have the top of the sleeve sewn into the armhole, you're gonna wanna sew together the underarm seam and the side seam at the same time. It's so nice and easy to do it this way. Now I've got my shirt all surged together and it's time to do Georgia's shirt. We're basically gonna do the exact same method. The first thing we're gonna do is surge together the shoulders. And then after we surge together the shoulder seams, we are going to set in the top of the sleeve into the armhole. And then we're gonna sew together the underarm seam and the side seam all at the same time. I just love that method. And then we are going to sew together the short sides of the neck band and then we're going to fold it in half. And then we're gonna attach the neck band to the neck of the t-shirt. Now I have all of the seams sewn together on my shirt and Georgia's shirt, and it's time to cover stitch all of the edges. And then we'll be done, and it's time to try on our new shirts. We did it. We have not just one custom shirt, but we have two custom shirts in different sizes from different patterns. And it came together just like that using Ditto. Let's take a look at both of the shirts I just created. First, we're going to take a look here at the Ophelia top. So we've got a fitted body to the shirt, and then we have a little bit of a flutter sleeve up here. And I cover stitched all of the hemmed edges for a nice, clean, professional look. And here's the Keith shirt. It has a nice band at the neck. It's got a nice length on the sleeve and it looks like it's going to fit great. So let's see how they did turn out. Let's go try them on. Here it is, check it out. We've got two different shirts with two different size profiles in matching fabric and it's so fun. Just imagine the possibilities. You can make all your friends and family all kinds of outfits. Hmm, what am I going to make next? So as you can see, we are two very different sizes, right? And because we put in our measurement profiles, when we selected the garment we wanted to create, it fits us. So cool, right? So if you're using Ditto, make sure you set up your measurement profiles so that way your garments fit great no matter what size you are. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. I hope you had fun sewing these awesome Ditto shirts with me with our custom measurement profiles for two different people with two different shirts with two different measurement profiles. If you have any questions about using Ditto, make sure you leave it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know what you thought of the Ditto and the process and making of the matching shirts. I would love to know. So leave that down below in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of the social media, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to see your projects and know what you've been working on. So make sure you send me some photos so I can share them with everyone else. And if you have any specific videos you'd really love to see, leave that down below in the comments or reach out. I'd love to add them to my video list. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.